What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Friday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast with me, Matt Peralt. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt. This podcast being brought to you by BetMGM. $1,000 first bet offer for new users. Use the promo code JUICE when you sign up at BetMGM.com for new users. $1,000 first bet. All right, so actually a losing night last night. 0.05. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much flat. I mean, my gosh, it's technically a losing night, but we got the plus 350 parlay to come in. Most of you guys got plus 300, plus 325. I got plus 350 on the under one and a half goals for Winnipeg and Boston. That came in. That saved the night. So here's what happens. You're always due for a cool down night. So when you get a night to go flat and you hit a 350 parlay, that's just showing you how hot I am right now because that should have been a losing night, like a bad night. But that plus 350 saved everything. We wound up winning that for 1.75 units. We get the over easily in Iowa. I don't know what's going on, man. Ken Palm, we're going to bet college basketball Saturday pretty heavily. We're going to come in with a big college basketball day on Saturday, maybe some UFC as well. Uh, but I think there's a card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a card. I got to look into that. I think there's a card. I'm pretty sure there's a card for UFC. But I'll bet I'm going to take a break from hockey tomorrow on Saturday and then probably go back to it on Sunday. But, man, <laughs> Iowa was always an over. Alabama, Tennessee was always an under. I don't understand what the move was. That was easy. The last two days, we're 4-0 in college basketball this week. So nothing I like tonight. Nothing jumped out at me. It's a Friday night in college basketball. Huge games coming up on Saturday. I'll have plays, probably four games I'm eyeballing right now to make bets on for Saturday. But we get way off on the Flyers. They got killed 6-1 to one by the Kraken. We couldn't get the open net goal. If we got the open net goal at the end of the game for the Devils and the Blues, if we get, I mean, a guy for the Blues had a shot from the blue line that hit a shin guard, if that makes the net and goes in, we go over and then it's a winning night. So unfortunately that doesn't happen to so that over. We miss on that. We missed on the gift because the Golden Knights and the San Jose Sharks, it's 1-1 late in the third period. Nobody called that. I mean, where did that come from? What? Crazy game in Vegas tonight. There, under, no goal, no gift for Winnipeg. That comes in. The under one and a half goal comes in as well for that. So I'm not going to go that heavy today. I'm going to have 2.25 units in play. I've had a very good week. I don't want to blow it on a Friday where I don't love the card. And Saturday and Sunday will be fun. There's a lot of good stuff to bet on on Saturday and Sunday. So what I'm going to do here is we have the Friday parlay. It's a plus 642 parlay in hockey. I have a first period bet. And then I have a total bet that we're going to get into here for us on a Friday. But before we do that, you guys want a free year of Betting Pros Premium. Well, that contest is still going on right now. If you want to enter into it, it's very simple. You just subscribe to the Betting Pros YouTube channel and comment below on this video because if you do, when you do, you could win a free upgrade to Betting Pros Premium. Whether you're looking for access to exclusive picks, top-rated player props, or custom analysis of your betting performance, Betting Pros Premium has the tools to help you catch more bets, plain and simple. You don't want to wait for that giveaway. Sign up today at bettingpros.com slash upgrade and start betting smarter, not harder. Okay, so we're going to roll here with the NHL. Let's first start with the parlay. You guys all like the parlay. You're always in love with the parlay. So let's get into it here. Three gifts. All right, we're going with gifts. A yes and a no gift. The first bet, stars in the wild. No gift, okay? No gift on this. We're not going to take a goal in the first 10 minutes. Plus 110 on that. Then we're going to take a yes on the Kings and the Ducks. The Kings have been a pretty profitable team on this when it comes to the yes to scoring a goal. Anaheim has been pretty good as well. Anaheim is a plus uh, six, six out of the last 10. Sorry, six out of the last four over the last 10 and 16.3% for Anaheim to a yes goal in the first 10 minutes. The LA Kings have been pretty much right around the same type of team in terms of the yes. Seven of the last 
10 games to a yes and 63.6%. So we're going with a yes at minus 165. And then we're coming back with the Penguins and the Islanders. The Islanders are the worst team in hockey to a gift. Islanders just 20 times in 57 games. Have they seen a goal scored in the first 10 minutes? That's 35%. The next worst is Winnipeg at 48%. Large gap there. Islanders just two times over the last eight, uh, 10 games has a goal been scored in the first 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and jump in with that. It's a plus 642 parlay. No gift, Dallas, Minnesota. No gift, Pittsburgh and the Islanders. And a yes to the gift for the for the Kings and the Ducks at minus 165. Now, if you want some extra action, Edmonton and the Rangers will go over, all right? It's 135, the juice right now, six and a half. FanDuel's already gone to seven, okay? I just don't want to lay minus 135 juice on an over. I just don't, I don't have to. We've done so well this week. Why chase? Why force it? You can bet under seven if you want or bet over seven. You get a push potential with that. But on a Friday night, I just, I don't know. I'm a little bit hesitant to jump in here with that. I don't love it. It's kind of, I don't love the bet. Anaheim is the play. I mean, that's just, if you want to take a look at what they've done, Anaheim is just an absolute machine to the over this year. You know, uh, sorry, Edmonton rather. So Edmonton, New York. Sorry, I say Anaheim, I meant Edmonton. Sorry, Edmonton is 18 and 9 on the road. Edmonton is 18 and 7 and 3 at home. You know, the Rangers on the road this year have been creeping around as an over team at times. That's 10, 14, and 1 for the Rangers overall. But over the last 10, the Rangers are starting to play. They're 5 and 5 to the over, I guess flat. Rangers over their last five games are 3 and 2. And over the last three games for the Rangers, they are 2 and 1 to the over. So I don't mind it. Go ahead and the Rangers are scoring. Edmonton scores a ton. It's just minus 135 or minus 140. Can't stomach officially betting that. It's, it's, it's the right play, though. It's it's the right bet to bet the over on that for that game. One more bet. And, well, I guess two more bets that we're going to give you. I'm going to go with a full unit on Minnesota. First period under. Minnesota is still by far the worst team to a first period under. 21 times out of 53 games, that's 39%. Just one time in the last nine, uh, 10 games have they had one and a half goals being scored. And Minnesota has gone under one and a half goals in five consecutive games. Winnipeg has done it now for seven straight games. That's the high. We were on this yesterday. You look at Winnipeg and just the fact that they do not score, they have a really tough time scoring against anybody, but Minnesota really can't score. It's incredible to watch. They put the puck at the net all the time. Marc-Andre Fleury is starting in net. It doesn't bother me. He's good in the first period, okay? He's outstanding, but he's good in the first period. Dallas did have two goals scored against the Boston Bruins. It was one-to-one the last time we bet this, but this is at Minnesota. That game was home for Dallas. I don't think Dallas scores. I think Jake Ottinger is expected to start, which is good news. Marc-Andre Fleury, like I mentioned, has been pretty good here. I'm going to go with a no goal, an under, sorry, under one and a half goals in the first period for Minnesota and Dallas. It's minus 118 at FanDuel tonight. I'm going to lay the 1.18 units. I'm going to put a full unit on this because I think it's just been so profitable. I'm willing just to say, all right, I'll, I'll push a full unit on this just given what we've seen. If we get Jake Ottinger, I'm feeling even better about it. But Marc-Andre Fleury, I think it's good enough here. And you got Dallas, a team that, I mean, yes, they score, but they don't score a ton. And Minnesota at home is just really, really hard to finish, to face. They're very good defensively. And offensively, they're just, I don't know what to make of that team right now. It's its kind of stunning, to be honest, when you watch it. You're like, wait, what is going on? Dallas had the day off after playing the Bruins. But at Minnesota, Wild at home. Under one and a half goals, Wild and the Dallas Stars, 1.18 units down on this for under one and a half goals in the first period. And then the other bet we're going to jump into is the Kings and the Ducks. Now, Anaheim is 13 and 12 to the over at home, 
but the big number is the LA Kings. They're 16-9-3 to the over at home, and they're going to start Gibson, who has a 4.17 goals against average on the road. He's given up seven and six goals his last two times out. He's most likely going to be facing Copley for the Kings, who's been getting the majority of the work since an injury. He's got a pretty good record going on this homestand. Just two goals and a shutout given up so far, so two goals in two games. But before this homestand, he gave up three, three, and four goals at home. We need that Copley to show up tonight, and we need you know a 5-2, 4-3 type of final in this one, one way or the other. It's minus 125. I'm going to lay the 1.25 units down on it for the Kings and the Ducks to go over. The game is on ESPN. Over six and a half at minus 125. Okay, so we have the parlay. We have a first period full unit bet, and we have a full game over six and a half play. If you want extra Edmonton and the Rangers, I would bet the over in that game. I think six and a half, it's really juicy, but that's also a pretty good play if you want to make it. So I know we've been a lot of hockey this week. We're going to get to college basketball tomorrow. We will get to... Some other things on Saturday nights, boxing, UFC, we'll get into it, you know, figure out what we're doing for combat sports because I love betting on combat sports in particular on a Saturday night where we can kind of jump in here and take a look at what's happening, how things go. And, oh, yeah, we do have we have a fight night. Good. You know, Jessica Andrade is, is fighting against it's Aaron Blanchfield, right, that, she, that she's fading, facing. Um, yeah, so that's going to be. That's a good fight. That's a fun fight. So definitely, we'll have we'll have betting. We'll we'll bet the UFC tomorrow night. We'll bet college basketball. We'll take a break from hockey on Saturday, and we'll get into it. So I know you guys are like, who cares? It's winning. I know, but like, there are some people who really get frustrated with just hockey. They want to have money and know about picks and plays and other sports. We're four and zero in college basketball this week. Let's hit another one coming up on Saturday. But for tonight, we're going no gift Dallas Minnesota, no gift Pittsburgh and New York Islanders. And a yes to a gift for the Kings and the Ducks. It's a plus 642 parlay quarter unit going down on that bet. 1.18 units down on the Minnesota Wild at home against the Dallas Stars. Under one and a half goals in the first period. Yes, that's a full unit bet on the first period. Kings and the Ducks over six and a half for the game at minus 125 here on a Friday. My name is Matt Peralt. I'll see you in the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat to get in, or there's a link underneath me on the YouTube channel to come on in, be a part of the Discord channel, be a part of our community here on the weekend. More to come over the weekend. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt. Every morning, it is the Daily Juice Podcast being brought to you by BetMGM.